Hey everyone, my name's John. In this video, I give an overview of the company directory page on the beginners template. I've done another video where I went over how I built this page, so check that out. Um, the company directory is a simple page allowing users to create a list of companies. So on this page, you can view a list of companies and their company information search or search search or sort the company's list create a new company or edit an existing company on this page you will learn how to display data from the database how to add data to the database how to edit data in the database and how to search and sort through a list Let's do this. Firstly, with this page, I started by setting up the database. So with this page, we have one data type, which is the company's data type that has the e company's email, company's name, size, description, and phone number, which are all texts. It also has their location, which is a geographic address and a logo which is an image so because the companies are all going to be public there, there is no privacy rules on. now let's check out the design of the page so the design is relatively simple for this page um, we have the two headers at the top which i've discussed in a different video we have an input, which is used for the search, but this is just the standard input, nothing special about it. Then we have the drop down, which uses static choices, um, just to keep things simple at this stage. We have the add company button, and this opens up the company um, add company pop up, which you can see here. So this pop-up contains all the inputs for adding companies, and it also contains the inputs for when you edit a company as well. So you can see here, um, we have a condition so that um, when the parent group company isn't empty, it changes the text to edit company. So we can do that using the same pop-up, but I will go into that in more information later. Then we have the repeating group on the main page. So a repeating group does exactly what it says on the tin. You provide it with a list and it will repeat the um, entries of that list um, continuously. So say you have one item on that list. It will just show one item. If you have zero, it will show zero. If you have 10, it will show 10. And it will call that from the database. So with this repeating group, we the type of content is the companies because we want to display the companies. So we do a search for companies and we display. With this one, we don't have any constraints because we want to display all the companies. But we do, well, we do have one constraint, sorry, which is any field contains input searches value. So that's how we get the search input to work. Um, we do that here. We then sort by company name and we have this as descending as no. So the way the sort works with this app is I've set up conditionals so that when the drop downs value is changed, and we want it to be sorted by company size, we've changed the data source and the sort. The data source is exactly the same, but it's sorted differently. So we have company size, yes, or with the size smallest first, we have company size, sort by company size, and then no. So it is worth mentioning that I have ticked ignore empty constraints here. That is because with the input searches value, when the input search is empty, we don't want it to, we, won't, we don't want this constraint to 
um, work because it will just show us nothing. So then within the repeating group, we have the group company here and this displays, we set this again as the type company and this displays the current sales company information. So um, whichever company is in that cell will be displayed within to this group. And then we've set just normal images and text to show that information here. So you just do parent, parent group companies logo or parent group companies company name um, to display all the information you want to show. So how do we make the app work? We do it using the workflows. So with this app, with this page, it only has four workflow events, as you can see here. And every event is triggered by a user click. So either a click on a button or a click on an icon. So if you want to open the workflows, you can either click on the workflow tab here and find the workflow you want to use, or you can find the element that runs the workflow, double click it and go on start slash edit workflow. Starting with the add company button, this button does one can open one of two pop-ups based on the condition of whether a user is logged in or logged out. So if the user is logged in, um, no, if the user is logged out and they get this button, it will show the sign up slash login pop-up. If the user is logged in and they click this button, it will show the pop-up ad company. And you can see that by this condition here, current user is logged in. So the next workflow we will look at is the icon edit workflow. So the icon edit is kept within the group company. So you can see that here. And the aim of this is when this icon is pressed, we want to open the pop-up ad company but we want to display the information of the company that this icon is within. So to do that, we have this action called display data. So when this icon is clicked, it, it displays the data in the pop-up ad company and the data displays that the data that it displays is its parent group company. So then we show the pop-up the same as when you press button add company, but this time when the pop-up is shown, because, because this data source won't be empty, it will be showing the data we've displayed, you will see the logo and the company name and all the, da all the company's data already filled in um, within these inputs because we've set the initial content as parent group company's description or parent group's company, whichever input it is. Now that leads us nicely to the set button save workflow. So this workflow performs one of two goals either to create a new company or to edit a new company. And this is based on the condition of whether the parent, the pop-up ad company's parent group is empty or not empty. So when we press button ad company, that group is empty. And when we press the icon, that button is not empty. So then when the user presses save and we can see that the parent group's company is empty, it will create a new company and we will save the inputs to the correct fields. So company email, we, use, we save the input company emails value 
and say for the logo, we say the picture upload a logo's value and so on. But if, if the parent group's company is not empty, we make changes to that parent group's company. So instead of creating a whole new company, we just edit the current company that we're looking at and replace all of the inputs with the current inputs. So what that means is, is that any input that has been changed will be, will show that new data, but if any input hasn't been changed, it will just show what it was showing beforehand. So then once that has been done, the pop-up will be hidden and we do two things. We reset the relevant inputs and then we reset the pop-up ad company. And what that does is clears the inputs so that no data is left in them and it clears the, um, the data source for the pop-up so that um, when you press add company, we'll get a whole blank form. The last workflow on this page is the icon close. So that's kept within the pop up ad company and you can see it here. And that's a relatively simple workflow. It just hides the pop up ad company and then it does what um, the same as when the save is pressed, it resets the relevant inputs and resets the pop up. Now, if you're using the template and you're unsure about something, every workflow, every action um, has a note at, that explains how that action or workflow or element works. So if you get stuck or you're looking at something and you're a bit unsure, just click on the action and click on the note and you can read about it here. So that's the company directory page on the beginner's template. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me or drop me a comment and I will try my best to answer them. You can head to the home page of the template now and find another page to learn. So good luck and thank you.